Okay, sorry about that. Um, my mom had my mom basically came down here because you know, I think she was just she just came down here just to turn the just to check on the air condition though. But 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 at least that she she's she's already back upstairs. <coughs> Excuse me, mom's back upstairs right right now, just taking a shower. But she is not going to go into bed eventually. Like I know that sometimes it, it might be a bad time to record as well. Like it's it's really like it's past like 10 p 10 p.m. right now. It's it's nighttime, basically. But but I just but but it's just that I gotta get have to get get part one done, like badly. But anyway, <clears throat> all right. So anyways, I'm gonna go and continue now. So 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 so, so since you've seen the all the other rows that that and explain what what the others can do except for like these three right here. First keyframe, previous one, and then next. So, the, so, 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 yeah, these three keyframe text events. I, I don't, I don't actually not know what they do, basically. Though. But, but, however, there, there, is, there is actually a Rock Band network. Do, do, but, but, however, there is a Rock Band network on um, the documentary of, of the venue track, which will explain the, the which will explain what the keyframe uh, rows does, like for sure, though. So, yeah, I mean, if you can find find the tab basically for that, then yeah, you should be able to find, be able to like. Find out what what it does. And then you could basically see here is um these are basically like the camera that these are basically the rows for the camera for for the camera effects. Um, like you could basically go silver tone, which would which um would basically mean that that, that like if you put that. That basically in there it'll it'll just turn it'll it'll make it'll make the camera effect of showing the romping characters turn gray like black and white and security camera is the same kind of the same as silver tone but except except it does bl black and white a little deeper and deeper on the camera angle well well a, well a little deeper on the gray basically though on, and for the shadow effects as well though that will still make still show them though and black, and I'm mostly sure that black and white is the, is pretty much the deeper black and white um, effect on, on the camera angle. <laughs> so yeah, so basically, there's a, there's like a lot of like other options that you can go for, but I wouldn't really, but but I wouldn't really, <laughs> I wouldn't really recommend like messing around with these on, 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 unless it, that if you're make if you're make, making a custom song to, to be related to a music video that you've seen on YouTube or that you've that you've recorded yourself. <laughs> and then the proper lighting basically you know, for, for like the for the for the music playing and, and on the stage and on stage is is that you, you do need need to actually put put text events basically you know, to, to, to 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 for 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 um, the lighting code called calls to work. Which so yeah again I'll 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 I'll, I'll show you what more of what, what the venue track does later, and then the beat track. So, so so far the beat track it, the beat track it, the beat track is 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 basically the most recommended to, to track that you, that you just 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 need to have a complete widow in order to like absolutely to be able to just play to to to. to to like the proper beat of the song and it'll also show show the show that the beat markers that that would make it available to like strum on or drum on and and it's also like the same thing basically for <laughs> and it is like and it's it's also like showing like the same same thing but it's, it's also it also like do the same thing for when you're uh, playing on vocals as well so it means for the so so the beat lines that, that you basically see, um, sorry, um, so the beat lines that that you are gonna gonna actually see that that, that you will actually see basically in the and in, in in from from the beat track, but later on is is basically gonna be like it's basically the beat track is it's just basically like beat mark beat markers that you could just put in to to, to make to make sure it's a playable um track. That, that you can str strum on or or uh, drum on basically for like guitar drums and bass and probably for vocals though I don't know 
I mean, but it but but it does have that same effect though. But you don't need to worry about it. Um. So so, so you can see here is that the red notes that are <clears throat> that are off the off the um, the bigger the bigger or brighter um, numbers. But basically, though, is basically it is basically. Um, so, so you can see here is that these no notes that are that are on di di different points of a measure are the are the upbeats. <laughs> and then the downbeats are 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 are, are basically some sort some sort of like kick drum hit or a snare drum hit complete widow or, or just basically in any other point of a measure that is like basically just that is just going like one two three four one two three four one two three four like 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 that's how how the pattern is basically supposed to go if the time signature is four by four but if it's three by four then it'll it'll basically be like one two three one two three one two three you know or if you do like six by four for example then it would be like then it would it would be like it would be like six six beat notes you have to that you have, that you got to like focus on it's like one two three four five six one two three four five six stuff like that so the thing is you can't you can like basically basically like set, set up uh, set up the, the uh, text events however you want like it's up to you but but basically but but as for for like doing the b track it's really it's a it's really required that you need to have have the b track and, and if you want want to make, make make the custom song just play pro properly in rock band <clears throat> sorry that um so hang on let me fix this really quick okay there we go all right all right so now now okay so anyways now that i have like sh shown you like the basics basically of, of how the reaper works and, and by the way these are basically the tracks that you just insert the, the, the audio track in and just and just the video track in and it'll just automatically show in reaper and you can you can basically just play through it. All right. So now that I've shown you how that works, um, now that I've like shown shown you what what all the all the note roads are for the tracks, I'll basically show show you the extra ones as well for uh, the C three RB three template as well. So you can see here on the B track, it's the same it's the same it's the same thing as the one I showed you on the Rompy Network template. You can follow that still. And oh, well, so so just in case that if there are any like um rope rope no num numbers that are showing, if, if you don't want want them there, all you have to do is just click anywhere in the in the uh, let's see, click anywhere in this area, and then go to view, and then go to piano roll notes. Um, well, it's recommended to just this to, to click show note names. On notes disable that so then, so then you don't see any like any like note names on the notes you place down and then on view show or hide note rows and hide unused and unnamed note rows when you click that now it does not sh it does not show any of the other ones at all Now on the C three RB three template though there are there are like basically only like guitar there there are, there are basically bassist singalongs drummer singalongs guitar singalongs and there's also like keys vocals guitar drums and bass but, but basically though that's basically what you would, would see though and then the events track um let me let me uh, fix that as well actually you know what I don't need to do that. So basically, so, so if you if you're doing section names for on the RB3 template, then then the way then, then the way that then, then the way you have to set up the section names is it has to be PRC underscore and the section name that 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 rock band will allow. Like if like if you want to put like if there's an intro section you want to put in when you're using the rock band network template, or if you want want to change that name change the name of that to to be like guitar intro, drum intro, bass intro vocal intro for example or uh or a uh, keys intro or whatever then you always have to make make sure you put 
you, you have to make sure, sure to just leave the PRC text event in there and text in there and then just change it up to, 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 to say that it's a different type of like text event. <laughs> so, and then when you look into the part drums, there will be, be like a few changes basically though that you might, you might, you might not see from the RB3, from the Rompe network template. Um, let me hide these note rows first. Now, let me show, show you what, what happens when you, you do not disable the, the when, let me show, show you like what happens. Oh, okay, well, it's actually disabled already though. But, but um, let me actually go back and um, enable it again. So, so, so I can show you what, what, like, what happens when you, you do not, do not disable this. If you don't, if you don't, don't, don't disable show note names on notes, it'll just look like this. It'll just have notes that are just showing the note names and that's just gonna like get, get in your way completely though. And you might not be able to see it better, so. So, so the way to, so the way to like fix that is you need, you, is that you have to go into view, go to piano row notes and then make sure to like disable show note names on notes. When, when there's a check mark over it, that means it's enabled. So just click that and then now when you place a note down it'll no longer show the show the note names it'll just be it'll just be notes this time that you only got to worry about really good and then the so, so then the other three which are basically have shown or shown earlier it's basically going to be like it's going to be green blue or yellow toms and it's it's basically like the like the two wrap toms for yellow and blue and then the floor tom for for, for the green tom so, so that's that's the thing, that's the thing to know. Though. The yellow and blue toms are basically the rap toms, the two the, the two rap drum, the two leg toms on the drum set that you would see on a real one. And the green tom is the green tom 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 is basically the floor tom. It's it is basic it is basically the green tom that is basically that is a, a big a big tom that that basically that that, that stands vertical. And then the blue, and then the, the blue wrap tom is basically the is the one on the right, and then the yellow tom is also is also a wrap tom that's on the left. So the left wrap tom is the yellow, and then the right wrap tom is the blue. And you can see here these are basically markers that are roll marker one lane or roll marker two lane symbols. So it basically means. Well, let me show you this really quick. Let's say that you're making notes like this completely, for example, and if it's too fast for you to, to go through, like like if it's just too too fast for you to go through, then then the best thing that you can just basically do is and just just to make sure it registers, but only if you're playing this on Rock Band Three, is um is is to put note put notes that are, that will basically say, oh, let me adjust that. To be like to be in in a roll marker two lane symbol, so, so then it'll make it easier to play. Or, or if you want to do, a, and then the one, the one uh, note lane is is basically like, is if if there's like multiple notes on one row, like if it's a bunch of like green, a bunch of like, um, like um, oops, sorry, um, red notes, for example, like red snip red, if there's like a lot of red snare notes then that you that you would have to figure out basically on like how to, how to get it to work properly it is basically by putting a note row on the roll marker one lane row so that means when it does that it, it'll make, make it easier to to hit the, to really hit hit the, hit those really fast um red notes in, in a row or it, it, it also it also even what works with with, with the uh, other the other like colors as well even yellow green and and like definitely um and like definitely just um what is it definitely just oh i'm sorry about that I had to delete the mouse so so, so yeah so, so basically the yellow so, so basically the kit so basically the red yellow blue and green um tom notes even symbol notes will, will basically work for for that except for kick notes which i'll, I'll basically which um yeah it's not. It's not. That's not really supported on any rocking game, like whatsoever. Though, like, like, um, like you, like you, you really cannot just like put, put like kick or drum notes on like, 
uh, on like to, to, to be to be like fast ones be, be, because those, those are just impossible to hit uh, with, with your feet sorry if I'm just making that sound but as you can basically see here is that it's a lot of this stuff is usually this usually the same thing except that there's like a, there's a few of these which are snare rims which I don't know what, what those do basically you know, but 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 if you go onto the rock band um but doc, 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 document documents website and then if you like look up the like rock band and, and well if you like look up the rock band 3 3 uh, uh, authoring but basically you know for like for those animations basically you know, then you could just find those on there but but in case that if you don't want, want to do that basically you know, then there is a feature which will automatically fill in the drum animations though which which is not which is which um it's not the capsules fair tone trust me it is not the it is not like the, the it is not not the C three, um auto tools but basically you know, that that you talked about before, like it's it's basically like it's it's a di different type of reducing feature which which would also fill in the animations as well, <laughs> on like um Onyx which is basic on this program Onyx which is basically like the most recommended way to do it, and then you can see the the only difference you only see on like on base is there's a, there's only this there is a solo marker on there but but for, for rock band 2 customs or lego rock band customs it's not available so you can basically see is that all the all of the other and all of the other rows are still the same even the big rock ending ones and these and these two are the trail markers which is basically like if you make rows like if you make um actually move that down a bit if you're making trills like this, basically, though, know, and if they're too fast for you to hit, basically, then, then the best thing you could just do, is you can just do do a trail 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 marker to to to, to um, make things much easier. And then and then let's say that there is like, um, let's say that there's like a lot of fast like orange notes you need to hit. Easy to figure out when if you if you have a pattern like this, then 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 the, then the then the way you can make them hit hit it, hit it easily. Is to is to put put a note in, in in the row called strum marker. So yeah, so yeah, the strum marker is for is for the alt strumming notes, and the trill marker is basically just for, for like for for the, for like the notes that are just going like back and forth on each row, like blue orange blue orange blue orange back and forth really really fast. Oh, uh, sorry, I'm 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 still I'm still like trying to get used to just using the keyboard while I'm trying to record. I mean, I tried to do it before, but it's just that I kind of, like, was not doing it right. But yeah, anyway. <clears throat> so for guitar, it's it's usually the same thing, though. You don't, you don't, there, there's there's not any, any differences you need to worry about here. And the only difference now on vocals is that, is that you, you can basically see see that 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 c5 is basically the highest pitch basically you know, according to that note row although i would mostly say like b5 is probably the highest basically though know. and the thing is there there really there is no like c2 I, no no there there really is no uh c c1 um text event go, go, go. Um, no what was i saying um there i'm pretty sure that there is no there is like no uh such thing thing as a c1 note on, on a chromatic 2 tuner that i found on the website though the lowest it can just go is c2 like believe me that's really the lowest you can go but but basically for like the note names it's pretty much the same thing though um but just to uh, anyways um just to make sure that you don't see the note names just do the same as i did view piano row notes and then hide and um disable that and then when you place the notes down it will not show it anymore now you may not notice that it, it's not that the vocal track track's not playing, and, and that's pretty much because it's muted. So, so if you unmute it, and now when you place a note down, the note plays. So yeah, that's really good to know. So, so, so basically, the the only difference you only see is only the lyric shift and the range shift, which I don't I don't know what that does basically though. But, but yeah, if you're looking up Rock Band three vocals though. On Rock Band doc documentations, or if you just ask someone from the C3 website what that's about, then yeah, then yeah, you you can just like send me a comment, but that down below on like what that does, and then when everyone sees that comment, they'll, they'll be able they'll be able to learn that, like for sure though. <laughs> so.
so so basically those are basically the only tr the only like tracks on the instruments you have to worry about and the song audio you just have to like drag the, the song audio in there but in case that if there is no uh, video file in there then, then, then the best thing you could just do is you can just make a new track just by doing this um, you can just basically like um, let me do that really quick insert new track right like this just by clicking that or just by clicking the shortcut key to do it like if you saw on the screen you know you might know and and you can like rename the track to say let's say let's say that you want it you want to use a video a video <laughs> to, to, to author the notes with right so then so then you enter that and you could be and then you could be and now you could basically see is that now there's an art there's a video track you can use inside of reaper now, there's a video track that you can put place your videos in and inside reapers so then you can use it use it to to, to, to author notes that are the sim similar ones for rock band in case that if you can't find find, find it for uh, rock band for the rock band three songs or the rock band four songs even even the rock band network songs as well so 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 just in case that if you can't if, if you need if you have have a video that you downloaded of of, of the notes being played as the full band basically, basically you know, uh, I don't know why it's doing that. Like, like uh, this one right here, for example, which is full band. Then you can just drag that right into Reaper, and um, there you go. So then you could drag this right into Reaper, and then it'll basically like just go in and just do it. So yeah, really good to know. But like I said, make sure make sure that it that it's AVI in order to, in order to like en enable it. And well, in order to drag it in because. Because then, because then, if it's on like AVI, it will not play through it at all. I mean, no, no, no. If it's on MP4 on any other video format, it will not allow it at all. And you place the audio track in the song audio track. So basically, so so so. So like I said, make sure to basically use this template basically, but but make sure that. That that you're also like following the tutorial as well of how I'm doing this. What what with, 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 without like trying to use the Rock Band Network template. Um, oops, that's a, that's a, that's not the right template. Hang on. Can okay, I go? So you can see here's that mine says audio track basically, but. But, but if you but if, but if you're in the C3 template and if you just want to figure out where you want to put the track, um, just drag it drag it into the song audio track and as it said, just put it in there and then it'll like put it right in there for you. So so, so remember the song audio the song audio <clears throat> in that template and then the audio track in mine is bas it's basically the same thing that you just need to need to follow. For sure though, just make sure the counting is set up and just make sure that uh, the song audio is in there. Um, I'll show you one more thing really quick on the C3 template. You can basically see is on the count-in um, track, this one right here, you can see here that this count-in track basically has like, um, it basically has like tracks that are, it basically has like, it has like, um, what is it? it has like soundtracks basically that is like showing the count-in tracks. Like, one, two, one, two, three, four, for example, you know. So, so yeah, those those will, will, will automatically be put right in there. If you do do have the hi hat and stick fi fi files downloaded from the custom tools tab, no, from the custom tools download. <laughs> or in case that if you want to change that, and you, or if you want to make your own count in, basically, that's basically up to you. Like like all that basically matters is that you just need to at least just have a count in. To, to go in the song, so, so, so then things, and so then, then, so then other, but other players that play the song, they don't get confused. So these are basically like the hi hat notes in the moment. I don't know if you can hear it, but I can. Um, let me turn this up a bit so, so you can so you can hear this. Okay, turn this up for a bit. Well, I don't know if you can actually hear it, basically, you know, but, <clears throat> but, but yeah, but yeah, it's going for like the hi hats, 
and then if you're doing the stick, it'll be if you're putting like stick, well, if you're basically putting a putting put if you put a drumstick counting in, it'll go like like a clicking sound, you know. So, so so in case that if you do have a count in track, it's recommended to just like try to like always just put that uh put those kind of count in tracks to, to 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 basically be inside of that to be inside of that track wait wait while your sound your your song audio is just put put on that on like this track instead so so yeah so yeah so there that's the that is the basics for the rock band templates like i said make sure to be but make sure to use this one but like i said i will be be using this using the, this template for the tutorial just so just as long as they are the same mechanics that you're using for using to make rock band 2 customs you should be fine though um, just make just make sure sure that that you're following the following the following the, those same steps and then you should be able, be able to figure it out like quite good now the very first thing you want to do is to put in your tracks so so when, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna drag in these two first since I'm gonna be working on guitar first so select those two just by uh, dra dragging and selecting them and then put them right into the track. So, so what you want to do is, once you, once you have them selected, hold it, hold down, um, hold, hold, hold the left click on, 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 on like either one of those tracks, and then drag them right into Reaper. Now, if, if you if you're dragging two items at the same time in Reaper, it'll it'll ask that if you want want to, if, if you want to like split them to separate separate tracks, or you just want to do a single track. Just for the sake, just click separate tracks. So, so then you can just basically like tell like what 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 tell tell like which tracks you're using. Wait for it. Okay. Now once you've dragged them in, basically though, this is basically what it what it will just look like. Wait, this is what it'll just sound like in a moment. So you can basically see it's here. It's it's out of sync. So, 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 so what what I meant by out of sync, it means out of place. So, so that basically means, so, so that basically means that's mostly the reason why a tempo map is basically important. Because if there are like beats of, of a note that is not synced up, basically to the audio though, it will it will like not work and it will not just like. Uh, do you like any good like that much at all those um so so the tip basically for that is that you is that you need to try to like make sure sure that, that you set up the tempo correctly and then make sure to public place the cursor to to like what where the other beats are so so the first thing you, you're gonna want to do first is is once you have put in the video tracks the next thing you're gonna want to do is turn off snap because because we do not we do not have a tempo map yet we completely don't by, by, by the way by the way the snap button is, is basically like the most necessary button that you might that you might might have to use when it, whenever you're basically like moving track moving like other tracks back and forth or when you're shrinking them or uh ex exp extending them so 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 what you're gonna so, so you can see here what you want to do is when you have snap on basically though know, you can see this is what it will do. It'll like decrease. It'll basically like shorten it, or you, you can either shorten it or extend it, but by other top by other the lines of the tiles. So yeah, 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1.3, 1 1.4, and then 2.1, and and then the rest just keeps going until until the the end of the song, depending on how you place it. So so what you can so like I said. Turn off ten, turn off snap because we don't have a tempo a tempo map yet. So disable that. And now now you can see when you do this, it'll it, it'll let you now move it in, in in like pixels. So that basically means you can move it anywhere you like. And it's mostly recommended just like start with, with the one that is at that uh, measure three though. So oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah that's another thing I forgot to show. Just in case that if there is a, if, if there really is like a, a temp. Just in case that if there is like, if you ha have like the, the the audio track inside it, and if you need need to really see the the, the beat markers a lot better, 
and you can just the, what the basic thing you can just do is click is to hold click this line and then drag it down so it make it easier to see. So when you do that, oh man, like look 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 like look at that like look at that look 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 how look like how look look at how how look how much easier it is to see now. Like for sure though. So so when you do that, it'll make things much easier for 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 for, for you to see, and then it'll make 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 you feel like that you're doing 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 this right. Now, now the next thing that you're gonna want to do is make sure make sure that that the counting is basically, um, make sure that that like the song at least just starts at measure three because it's really important. So, so the thing is, whenever you do like a count in, basically though, know, for like measure three, basically though. Know. Um, now, 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 just in case that if you do basically have a song that that, that doesn't exist in a score euro image, or or just in case though, so, so the thing is, if you need need to to basically like set um tempo two, baby. So, so the case that if you need to set the tempo marker to something else, this is something you can basically do though. Um, let me actually like um, mute this, mute this really quick, so so you can basically hear what I'm talking about. Um, hang on. So you can so, so so you can basically basically see here is that it's it's at a fast fast tempo. So so so, so, so what a tempo is is it is basically the speed of the song. So yeah, so so you can basically go with. A slow tempo, a uh, normal tempo, or a fast tempo. So, 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 so you can see here is that the the normal the, the normal BPM is already set to 120 be beats per minute. That's what BPM stands for, by the way. It's beats per minute. So, so, so 120 beats per minute is the is the default BPM that that the, that the template will start with. And, and and then and so, so in order to like to make the make the tempo the tempo tempo basically match up with the tempo of the song, then what you're gonna at least just want want to do is basically just make sure the tempo is all set. There are two ways you can basically do it. One one is is the most is the most recommended way if you're doing a song that that does that 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 you cannot really f f find any like tempo map tempo info for the song. And it is and it is basically by making sure the cursor is at this measure no um when there's a count if you put a count in basically in the song though you basically you basically just have to make sure to place the tempo the tempo the tempo um marker like the most the most default one on measure three and and then once you have basically done that basically though like if you put it and put like a tempo mark marker there, basically though, then it then it will be basically just then um it will like but basically go for like and it'll just like mostly start the song like st start the song as it's supposed to. <laughs> so so it's really optional to, to to how you you want the count in to be set on the tempo, or if you want it slow or fast, you just have to, you just have to like make sure it's it starts on measure three. So yeah, you can you can basically do faster countings when you're doing a, a song with fast tempo or a slow one with a slow tempo. So I'll show you how to do that really quick. So so, so here's this counting for example. So you can basically see here is this is one measure right here. So now now if you click now if you hit the Q key like I showed you last time. Watch what happens when I click the Q key. Well, well, when I press it though, like it said in the uh, in the actions menu that I made of the custom action. So so press Q. And 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 now now you can basically see is is that now the, the tempo has changed from 120 to one to 188 beats per minute, which is definitely faster though. And that's basically the perfect to tempo for you to start with. And then, and then for the next measure, like one, two, three, four, one. So let's extend this a bit more so I can just see it better. So, 
So um, let me get rid of this tempo marker really quick. Um, oops, my bad. Delete the track. Um, let's just like let's just remove this time signature marker and then re reposition it. Put it right here, 188.399, and then if you place the next one, so if you just do that, basically though, well, well, make sure you do that. Make make sure once you got snap back on. And when you do this, it'll just do that. And then for the next part, the tempo, sometimes there, there could be like a song that basically has like different like parts, but basically you know, that that is like showing 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 up properly, basically on like the on the on like the, the track. So it basically means when once you have a beat on measure three, if you see a beat on measure four, then just keep going and try try, try to find different ones. So you can basically see here is is this is basically what happens when you do not sync up sync up the um the tempo it, it'll just look like it's out of place like 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 you you like you you will want want the louder sound waves which is basically like these one, ones that are like higher to be to be connected to, to be like connected to those lines so, so then it'll make, make it easier for you to hit note to, to hit notes with so this so this tempo is not right basically for example though it's a, it's so the default BPM basically though is 190 basically though. That's basically like the starter one. So I'll show you that really quick. So 190. So 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 to edit that, you have to like um, let me cancel that really quick. Um, you want to like either double click it or you can right click it and click edit tempo temp time signature marker. But yeah, it's just recommended to double click it so you can just get a shortcut on that. And then just um set set the um tempo to be the the proper number like 190 bpm and then once you place it down it'll just basically be like a little more aligned basically to, to the song so in case that if it still doesn't if, if it's still like not right then that's basically fine you can always just just like make sure to like um hang on give me a minute Um, then you could basically always like make sure that, that you just always just do this just to, just to make sure that you're, you're uh, setting the tempo right. So, so, so let's fix that for a bit. Do that and then now it should let line up just right. Like for sure though. No. So as long as you keep going through the rest of the song, finding the right beats, you should be able to get the tempo map in no time. Okay, sorry, an another interruption. But anyway, so what you're basically seeing here is I did actually open up a, a an image, but basically you know, for for the guitar chart for uh, Guitar Hero. So so basically, just for the example of showing the song, and just to save some time, I'm I'm, I'm using using sorry, I'm using this website called the uh, Slow Hero dot moto dot coda dot org slash guitar ps2 dot expert dot html and that's basically the website that you can basically just go to basically though know, just just doing that so the thing is um you can go to this just type in slowhero.com and it'll show 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 some some like results of like of the web of like the web pages that have that same name so so go to slow so go to that go to that slow hero website and if you're doing a guitar one song, then go ahead and um, check check the charts for, for guitar from guitar one, and how, to see how they're set up. And if and if you want to do guitar two cut two customs, don't. If you wanted to do uh, guitar two songs to play on Rock Band, then you could basically just check check these out, like guitar two PS two or guitar two Xbox three sixty, guitar Uncle Rocks the eighties, guitar three, it's DLC guitar Aerosmith. The uh, Guitar Hero Aerosmith Alt, the Guitar World Tour, the DLC of World Tour, 
I'm sorry, I messed it up. Guitar and Metallica, and the technical information for Guitar Hero 3. So, so the main one, so anyways, the main one I'm going to be focusing from now on, since this is a Guitar Hero 1 song that I'm going to be doing, that, which is, it's going to be the Guitar Hero 1 cover of uh, Get Ready to Rock by Freeze Pop. So find that in the bonus tracks, and it's right down, down here next to Fly on the Wall and Guitar Hero. So guitar, so so click that, get ready to rock, and you can basically see is that you get this image right here. You might not be able to see it that much, but when but but if you but if you click it once to zoom in, you'll be able to see it much better. So you, so, so you can basically see here is that I was right basically with the first tempo marker. The, its default tempo, you can see right here, it's 190, like. Like see see this on the far left of the screen? I mean, I mean you might not be able to be able to see it that well, but it says 190. And and it says the time the time signature is four by four. So that means it's just four measures forward for the entire song. Um like completely though. And um and um also sometimes there there are like also different different um tempo tempo markers. Oh, um sorry. So, so sometimes, sometimes there are also like other tempo mar mar tempo mar markers that, that will like some sometimes have you going to through like time at measures basically just to basically like make sure that it's just fit fit only for like one small small uh, section of notes and then like the no and then like the the, the the normal the normal like BPM just go go, go goes back to four by four basically so the normal time signature is just four by four and then the shortest time signature. Well, a short, a really short time signature it could be like two by four, one by four, three, and three by four, and you can even go go higher on the on the on the time measures as well, like six by four, eight by four, ten by four, or e even sixteen by four. Like it's crazy, isn't it? Like like you can really go. You you can you can include as many, many like many many like time time. You can you can you can include you can absolutely like like absolutely set set out to how how high you you want the time signatures to be. Doesn't matter. So it basically says from this image, it says the starting BPM is 190, and then once it goes forward a bit more, it'll like ch change BPM, the BPM later, to to a slow tempo, and then and then it goes fast again. So right here, 31 is 95. So 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 so, so in case that if you're doing a song that does not exist in rock band basically though, and if you're just having tr tr trouble figuring it out basically though, then the best thing you can basically just do is um, j um, just look at carefully at, at the beats and see like which one basically it's pu is put right. So so, so, so here's an example, I'll, I'll, I'll select the track and then let it play through there. Um, actually, hang on. No, no, let me actually go back to that score hero image. S need to see where the the first note starts at. It starts at uh, measure three. Okay, so we're good on there. Sorry, I was just checking now, really quick. Right here, so so measure thirty one is where the tempo starts to slow down. So, so to insert a tempo marker, um, just hit the just hit the, the the input key that it's set to, and you should be able to just um oh oh oops sorry, I accidentally clicked the save button. I have to click the Q key. I clicked it I mean, and I pressed the A key by accident. So click that. Oh, and, and you can also move tempo markers around as well. So in case that if you're, if, so you can move move to tempo markers around to be like this, basically, though, just in case that if you want to move it around. 
But if you want to move the temple markers in pixels, you, you have to turn snap off in order to do it. So yeah, that's basically like the one way to do it though. Alright. So 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 the next tempo tempo change is at 33, so so it means once it basically once the the uh the first like long no green no the long so once so, so once like the, the first like power chord ends basically though, that's when when the tempo changes to to be uh, fast again. So so I'll show you that really quick. So, you can, so as you can see here, it's really recommended that you have that you have to try to always like set set set, set the tempo like to to to, to, mat, to be matching up to the beats. So so, so then it, it'll basically <coughs> excuse me, and then, so then it'll be like making more sense of um how the tempo should go. So it means if you basically see slow beat beat beats like this basically, then then that basically just just means it it's really just going slow. So yeah, so even if, if you hear like slow drum beats like this, and then when you hear fast drums, see so, so you can basically see here. The easiest way for, for for you to like track the song is if you if you just take a look at the beat is if you listen to the drums. <laughs> And how it's played, and, and it's also it's also recommended to also listen to the guitar as well. So, so then you'll be able to find out how it goes. So yeah, easy to remember. Also, I'm sorry about, about like. Wait, 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 what about you uh, seeing like the lag in the playback? It's just that I don't. Reaver always is always doing that. I don't know why. But anyways, I'm gonna go back here. Um, I'm gonna like um re mac uh, maximize that again to just, just decrease the size. So like I said, 31 is 95 as it says right here. Um, you might not be able to see it. Hang on. So you can see here it says, it says 95 right on the right there, and then 190 on 33. So now when I go further though, it'll be like different, different at the next time. And there's another one. So um, the rest of these, these um, measures are basically fine. So it means what, if there's no tempo marker basically in front of them, then that would just mean that it's it's already synced up to the beat. So that basically means you don't even have to, to really set the tempo markers um, basically at all completely in, in order to like absolutely just make sure it's correct. <laughs> and then you can basically see here at measure 80 is where the tempo changes again. So, so, so measure 80 to 82. So, so I'll show that again. Um, click this. I'm going to click this so you can see it. Again, don't worry about the lag. So, so you can basically see is that so yeah, there there can't there can't really be like a lot of BPM markers. Just ju just ju just as an example though, like at the end of the song, basically though, um, it's not going there basically though to the according to the video file. So according to this, it, it goes right to to uh, one forty two, which is basically like the ending basically though. Don't know why I adjusted it though. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna just do it anyway. So yeah, so so if there is a song that, that is going like a long, basically long, basically though, but if it has a fast tempo, then it's gonna then it's, it's gonna take a lot of measures for for that for like a song that long, and then when and then whenever you basically go for like any, and then if if you go go for a song that is like a long song but it has a slow tempo. Then, then that basically just means that it's just it's only taking like it 
it would sometimes normally take like 300 met measures if it's if if the if the tempo is basically just fat it's just faster though but but if the tempo's like really slow basically though it would only take a few of them because 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 slow bpm markers can basically like can basically like it will take more seconds basically though, to, 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 to get to get to get over to the next one so that, so that basically means yeah you just have to basically just w w worry about how i uh, worry about like how many tempo markers there are in the song and make sure they're all synced up to the beat to make sure it's right <laughs> So yeah, so yeah, just just make sure to keep going through the entire song, and you should be able to find the, the proper tempo markers, and we'll be able to set, set the tempo map properly to play notes correctly. Right here, another long 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 note chord. This has to. This is at um eighty. So it's gonna just put. I'm just gonna put these two right here. I had I, 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 the reason why I, I I put my cursor there and just put the and set the and set the tempo by bar to 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 be like that. And it is it it because because whenever you basically do this and when there is no tempo marker be, 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 be behind one measure, it will just put 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 the other one back there. So again, one ninety on eighty two, and then like I said, ninety five. Um. There we go. 95 on like 80, 80. <laughs> All right, and then the next thing that that you might might notice is um, um all right. So hang on, let me check this really quick. So remember, so just like I said, slow, slow drum beats. <laughs> And then fast, and then fast drumming. See that? That's what I meant. That's basically like what I basically meant by slow tempo and fast tempo. And I'm gonna keep looking through, see if there's, see if there, if there are any more to place in. It seems like the the rest of them are actually just still 190 until like, the outro so let me go there really quick so yeah 95 at 125 so there's only there's only a few tempo markers in this song by the way but if you're doing like a random song that doesn't exist in rock band or if you just or if you're re remaking the song from rock band 3 or 4 that that is a rock band 3 export or a dlc same for rock band 4 or if it's rock band network then you probably might need like help then you probably might might, might have to like have to like s -s 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 have to like figure out the tempo yourself but but just by by using the cursor technique by finding like the higher me me measure of a beat and then making sure that it's placed down right <laughs> Here's the solo, the guitar solo. So yeah, that is, that is what a guitar solo sounds like. Like I said, make sure to always pay attention to what you're hearing and make sure to pay attention to the sound waves to find the right tempo. Alright, and then this is where the last tempo marker goes. I'm gonna remove this time signature marker since there's only there's only one here that I need to worry about. What um change this to 95, hit OK, and there, that's the whole tempo map done. Now, if you saw it, the other track was too short, that's basically fine. You can always just adjust it, you can, just to make sure it's right. So, 
so so that's that's basically an example basically of like how you basically like set a tempo map again if you cannot <laughs> sorry um it was in case that if you cannot really find um let me see if this is right for a minute okay yeah yeah so that's right all right Now, once you have, so now once you have finished the tempo map, you can now work on the other tracks. But first things first, I'm gonna first thing first thing though you have to, that you may have to make sure make sure to try to always save every few minutes because since Reaper is a laggy program, it does have a chance to crash basically every few minutes, kind of if you're using an older version though. But luckily, if if you are actually using Reaper six six point, if you're using version six of Reaper. You, then, then you should be just, just completely fine, fine, basically on like, on the program running. But, but, but just in case if something, something does go wrong that's still around, then you, you might want, want, want to save it a lot. So then, so then you, you don't lo lose too much work. It'll work you know, when you don't save a lot. So, so yeah, always say save a lot, and, and if, if you don't want, want to lose any changes, like for sure, don't try to avoid that. So this one is Get Ready to Rock by, by uh, Freeze Pop. So this, this could actually take a while. Take a second basically for me to just like type this in. Since I'm using like one hand to do this. Get ready to, actually hang on. Get ready to, number two. Uh, rock, which is two Ks this time. And then that's, so that's the song name. And I'm gonna leave this as Guitario version since it's the Guitario One cover of that song, and it's and it's made famous by Freeze Pop. Freeze Pop's the artist name of the song, so so, 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 so just to be sure to, to make sure you know like which one you're using though, make sure to always like say save the project as the song name and the artist name. Just 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 so, so, so then you, you'll be able to tell the difference of like which song you're working on. Click save. And now you can see is that on the top, instead of instead of it saying unsaved project, it it now says get ready to rock guitar version freeze pop. So now now when you make any changes, it'll say modify. And you and, and, and if it, if you see that, then you then you, then just save the project to uh, remove it. And it, it the modified like symbol what the modified text will will just keep coming back back basically though, whenever you keep making changes back and forth. All right, so now what I'm going to basically do now is work on the video window now just to edit the notes. So go to view and then video window. And you can basically see here, this is a Guitar One video I downloaded already, already from YouTube. So what I'm going to do just to make sure this is right, I'm going to go ahead and just shorten it to, be, to go right here. To like where um, the guitar starts, so then I'll like know like so then I'll be able to like know like how it starts. So we'll do that really quick. Um, now now just to make sure that it's right, let's make sure to like extend this a bit more. Right there. Alright. Now extend this back a bit. So now so that's basically all, all you need to do to, to adjust that. And then and then I'm gonna go 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 to, to the to the end to the end of the project and then shorten the, this a little more to, to stop at 133. Actually 132, that's gonna be the one that we're gonna do. Now, once you have basically set the audio track, basically though, then the next thing that you're going to want to do is you want to, in case that if you're working on a song that has a lot of met measures, basically though, you will need need to extend it because 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 yeah, I have heard like multiple times is that it, is that it is basically it sometimes it's bad to, to sometimes do custom songs if there are tracks that are just too short.
So we're gonna put those to 133. So, so, so that basically means, I'll show you an example of this. All right, now once you have, have, have the setup done, now the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go to the beat track really quick. Um, let me close that for a minute so you can see it. You can now see is when now now that I have extended the tracks, there's no other like um, beat mark, mark markers for that that are in the rest of the measures that are that are ahead. So, so the way to fix that is you can just copy a whole you can co copy a whole lot of notes and then just pa paste it at, at, at the at, at at the spot where there is no uh, beat markers left. So let's say I want I want I need to start at 121. I need to go from 121 and then I need to like. Put it here at 133. So that's basically 12, 12 um, me measures of, of beat markers that I need to cut. That I need to pick. the need to uh, copy. So, so do this. Copy with control with the, the shortcut key. Control C just means hold control and then and press the C key to copy. And then place your place the cursor on on like measure 121. After you copy those note those beat notes. And then paste it. And now, now you can just basically see. Now that I've like pasted them in, though, it saved a lot of time from ever having to put them in on it manually. And now they are inside. So, so that's mostly the most important bit. Like copy and paste is always your friend. What, what, whenever, when, 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 it, when it comes to like making patterns for Rock Band customs, I will show that as well for guitar. So, anyways, anyways as long as you have all the beat markers filled in and make sure that that they they like they are matching and, and syncing up basically to, to 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 the to the to the entire beats of the song like if even if it's like a like it's if it's like a two by four measure which would mean it would go one two two what it would be like 1.1 1 .1, 1 1.2 2.1 2.2 so it means if you have a time signature like that then it means you have to go green red green red whenever you have those time signatures so, so, so it means for any of the other ones that they, they have to match it up like from three by four, green, red, red. So that so that basically means, or like five by four, green, red, 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 green, red, 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 red. So that's like so so five by four is like one green and four reds and on one entire measure. So so that's that's mostly the most important bit 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 that you that you will ha have to like fix that you have to like change up just to make sure it's correct.